Interculture Wars. Now, I apologise. We've got to come back to this topic because race politics is obsessing so many Australians and polluting so much that it touches. Here's a, an example. Let me show you the winners of this year's Young Australian of the Year, released just in time for the Australia Day. We're not celebrating. Now, see if you can see a pattern, something missing. Now, the winners have all done good things. I don't deny that. But this is the New South Wales winner, an environmentalist. No surprise. This is the ACT winner, a Ghanaian Australian singer. This is the Queensland winner, a Torres Strait Islander. Here is the Tasmanian winner, a Muslim woman. The South Australian winner is a refugee from Kenya. The Victorian is a man who identifies as Aboriginal. And so is the Northern Territory winner. And the West Australian is a Sudanese-born athlete, Peter Boll. Joining me is Rowan Dean, editor of The Spectator Australia and host of Outsiders on Sky News on Sundays at 9am. Great to see you again, Rowan. What is the message here? And you, Andrew. Well, the message is fantastic. This is the greatest news I've heard for ages, Andrew, because what this clearly says is lefties pack up, go home. Activists uh, in universities, HR, activists in companies preaching at us about what dreadful racists and white Australia and patriarchs we all are. Can clearly, this is complete nonsense. Australia is now, we officially know, the most diverse and inclusive nation on earth. We are a beacon to the rest of the world. We are a light on the hill <laughs> to the rest of the nations about how we are, we are, we're, we're no, no, white you know white patriarchy here what we have is the most diverse and inclusive <laughs> nation on earth and the proof is there and the proof is there now let me tell you something andrew you don't you don't uh, create an australian of the year overnight it takes you know particularly a young one it takes a uh, three years, maybe five years, certainly certainly 10 years to create the qualities that make a great Australian of the year. Here we have, here we have proof that 10 years of coalition government, the Abbott, Turnbull and Morrison <laughs> governments have delivered Australia the greatest diversity and inclusion. Kevin Rudd never delivered this. Julia Gillard <laughs> never delivered this. No, it was the coalition government that can now we can point to as the greatest proponent of equality Quality, diversity and inclusion in Australia. Let me also make this point, Andrew, and this is really important. What this demonstrates, and this is why it's such exciting news, we no longer need so many things that we're obsessing about. We don't need a voice. Who needs a voice when we've got some brilliant young Indigenous Australians of the year? There they are, proud. We want to hear from them. We don't need some other body. We want to hear from them. They're the Australians of the year. They're Indigenous. That's the voice. So you can scrap the voice. We don't need that. The Racial Discrimination Act. Go, get rid of it, at &C. We obviously don't need it. There's not a white face to be seen anywhere in there. We are diverse and inclusive. So scrap One that. One white woman, no uh, white immigration policy we we okay we don't need we, we've got women we've got everything we've got the uh, panoply there the plethora of, of, of diversity and inclusion we don't need uh, the racial discrimination act obsolete it's gone Look, chuck it out get rid of it always we said, now have the perfect it's australia always said of you you it's always said of you that you're far too much the optimist right i just got to point out <laughs> that all these activists keep telling us these institutions these awards have got to be more representative they've got to look more like contemporary Australia. Looking at this, I see that there's not a single white male left in Australia because they're not represented. There is no white male in any of those categories there. That is just incredible. How, do, how does that happen? And, 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 and I would say a cause for celebration, and the celebration should take place on January 26th. That's the day we should celebrate, and I should, Albanese should be doing what Bob Hawke said and saying any person who doesn't take Australia Day off and celebrate the brilliance of Australia is a bum. That's what Albo <laughs> should be saying. We should celebrate on January 26th the diversity and brilliance of that is clearly modern Australia. Uh, the decline of the uh, white male, but uh, you see the always the positives in it. Thank you very much, Rowan Dean. <laughs>